Batu senga bako ye mbele mbi. Mm. Financial bill, mm. si manye vichi, vito komoka. Mm. Aba nabasaze uba vemo blanket veka laka. Kwa hivyo 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 kwa But I love our country by the way Jackstar. Mm. Zesera kwa gala kula wa mtunga weka laka sabata mutabani wo, bata mm. mwala wo. Binone bino mugwanga tebisani de. Mm. So tuoge deko ne nameless. Mm. Na tuge amba chitambula chiti. How was the experience in Uganda mm. ku blankets and wines? Mm. Tuwa msanze ko by the way ku blankets. Mm. Elena tuge amba ya yimba ko muemu nenga siya wa no. Mm. So it was his first time to perform mu Uganda ku blankets. Okay. Ne live performance still a Uganda. Mm. Na bidi ala binji ya tuge amba yafunya yobu fana. Letu ina wafani wana Uganda abanyirida. Mm. Katula interview mkulu nameless. Hi, hey, hey, Emlet. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Uganda. <laughs> Thank you. How has it been this time around? It's been good, Kama. Like always when I come to Uganda, I feel at home. I've got friends here. Sometimes I just come, I want to chill. This time I was doing uh, rehearsals with a new band. I mean, a band I've not worked with before. So I was also doing rehearsal, a lot of rehearsal, and even with dancers for this show. Yeah. Was it your first time to be in Black It's and White? Yeah, my first time in Uganda. I've done the one in Nairobi. But for Uganda, this was my first time. I've never performed with a live band in, uh, in Uganda, so I wanted to also do that. Was well, a good vibe? Um, yeah, I, I felt a good vibe from the audience. There are some people I knew who knew me, my music, others who I knew didn't know my music but see me for the first time. So mine was also to sell myself to a different audience at the same time. It was a good vibe, yeah. We have seen you socializing with artists of Uganda. Are you in any plans of doing any songs with them, Airpass, Eddie yeah, Kenzo? Yeah, definitely, definitely we've been talking for many years so I know at some point we're going to do something um, um, so for sure like I'm releasing a lot of music this year so for sure I know I'll do some collabs I've not done before let's talk about the situation that is happening in your country yes, and what's your comment about it? I mean um, of course it's uh, bittersweet bittersweet in that it's uh, the youth standing up for their rights and making their voice heard to a, to a level they themselves didn't know, you know. Even other generations, older generations like mine, who we were so impressed with how it was so strong, uh, unified voice. Um, for me, uh, the reject was a very important sound of the people. And finally the president had no choice but to listen. Unfortunately, through our process, people have died. Some young kids have died, and that's the sad part about this fight. But it has definitely changed the way politics is going to be from now. Because now the people are look at politicians as you're working for me, not I'm working for you. As artists in the business, how are you going to hope to harmonize? Because we know artists, they think about things that are happening to get a solution. I mean definitely music is already happening. People are releasing songs as it happens to capture the moment, to inspire the moment, you know. So very many artists based on what they feel, where they are at the moment, a lot of good music is coming out during this process, which is a very positive, positive song.